and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. You're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about the top three things you can do to avoid Alzheimer's disease. Mm. And this is from the Harvard Medical School. They put out the Harvard Health Letter. Sure. And these were some of the recommendations they had. We'll also give you three things that you can try that have less evidence, but it may also help. Sure. So, but before we do oh, that, yes. if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, healthy. fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels for a number of reasons. Number one, we're always giving something away. Right. Right now, we're giving away the Grip Strengthener. This thing has, you know, four different uh, bands on it, so you can vary the resistance. Oh, yes. I was doing two, but now, or four, now I'm doing two, and I can actually do it. Yeah, you can do it different I, ways to strengthen the wrist no. and strengthen the grip. You're going to get a powerful grip here. All right. Um, if you go to Facebook, you can also, it's pinned to the top of the page. Oh, yeah, up here. You go to the giveaway section on Bob and Brad. If you want a short version of Bob and Brad, go to Twitter or Instagram. That's where we have the 60 second version. Right. And Bob is only five foot six instead of six foot That's six. That's right. It's all version. shorter. That's right. <laughs> all right. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia, Brad. Sure. And it's characterized by the accumulation of two types of protein. I think you've heard of this, haven't you? Tangles and plaques in your brain. Mm -hmm. And eventually it kills brain cells and it takes lives. I mean, it's, sure. it's a very. Yeah, it's. So there are lifestyle changes that you can make, and we're going to discuss those right now. So number one okay. is, uh, if there isn't one more reason for, to do this, is exercise. So the most convincing evidence to date that physical evidence helps prevents or slows down the progression of Alzheimer's. Do they say what kind of exercise? Yes, they say 30 minutes of moderately vigorous aerobic exercise. So that could be like an... Um, an aggressive walk. Aggressive walk, mm -hmm. yep. Three to four times a week. Yep. So, you know, I think, you know, you can take a couple hours a week to try to prevent you from, you know, getting to the point where you can't even recognize <laughs> your spouse, you know, so. <laughs> well, you know, it is amazing because I, I, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be 50, 57, Bob. And there's some things I can't remember. I don't know if it's my memory not so good. Everybody thinks of that, though, Brad. Yeah. And, and, and uh, I mean, that's just normal aging. Um, so I and, don't have to get too concerned about well, it. Well, when yet. you start forgetting that, you know, they used to, the th thing they used to say is that it's, you don't forget where your car is. You forget that you have a car. Oh. Then you, <laughs> so <Okay. laughs> it's, it's usually just general aging. But um, the second thing, Brad, we're, yep. all, we're going off on a tangent here. Second thing, uh, they suggest the Mediterranean diet. You know, that's a diet that, uh, again, helps thwart Alzheimer's and, and slows its progress. We're talking about fr fresh vegetables and fruit, uh, whole grains, olive oil. You know, it's all the things that are, are popular now. Nuts, sure. legumes, fish, mm -hmm. and so on. Anti-inflammatory foods, basically. Yeah, yep. it sounds, so, you know, it's... Uh, Good common sense. Too, yep, I yep. Think. And it's, there's all those other health benefits from from eating that way. So well, it uh, tastes good. Yep. So the third one um, was a little surprising to me, but it makes sense to me. Is they don't get enough sleep. There's growing evidence that to prevent Alzheimer's, it's linked to the you know at at night that you actually get some of those proteins that are being cleared from the brain. Sure. When you sleep, and so if you're not oh. getting enough sleep, so it's kind of like flushing the yeah the brain. flushing the system out yep. at, at mm. night. So. You really want to make sure that you're not one of those people that are going, you know, hey, I only need five Four, hours of yeah. sleep a night. Well, you're again, you're putting yourself at risk. So those are the top three things. Exercise, Mediterranean diet, and get enough sleep. Now, there's a little less evidence on some of these other things. And, and I'm sure you may have heard some of these. One is that you should learn new things. You know, keep the mind yeah, active. Keep the mind of crossword puzzles, mm. learning new languages and stuff like that. <laughs> Just K Pas Hermana. <laughs> yes. Um, so that one's out for me, I think. Yeah. Well, I do crossword puzzles. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Like when, uh, like if we're on a Saturday night, we're just watching a show and it's it's a little bit slow moving. I just do a crossword puzzle. You watch a show and do crossword puzzle at the that's an insult to the show. Yeah, well, it is, but it's just moving too slow. I Brad. hope you don't do that when you're conversing with your wife. No, no. <laughs> she, she always wants to help me with the puzzle. I'm like, just do your own. <laughs> All right, number two, uh, connecting socially with people. Sure. Uh, also important for a lot of reasons, but uh, help you live longer, too. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and number three, 
uh, drink drinking. <laughs> drinking. Why but do you always refer to me? But just a little. Yeah. You know, um, not a lot. So like <laughs> one to- one drink for women per day That's... and two for men. Just two? Just two. <laughs> two big ones. You're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, 64 ounce, two 64 ounce ones. <laughs> Carry on. So, all right. Well, that's it, Brad. So that's the that's the, our suggestions. Uh, hopefully, so what uh, they say about humor. Humor that's got to help. Yeah, right. Uh, there's no doubt about it. So. All right, we did a short one today. It's only five twenty-two. So yeah, otherwise we right. forget. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>